<laughs> Good morning, y'all. Again, back for number two. What it do? God bless y'all. Uh, one day at a time, little by little, keep that in mind. Not everything is going to be done for you at one time, all right? You got to take the good with the bad because you can't have one without the other, brother or sister, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, you just keep on breathing. Uh, I forgot how I start. <laughs> you got to take the good with the bad. Can't have one without, without the other. Ups without downs. Files without free throws. <laughs> Daytime without nighttime. All right. <laughs> you experience this every 24 hours, 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night. Sometimes things are going to be sunny, smooth, and sometimes they're not. It's going to be some dark moments in your life. All right. But I love the fact stars only shine at night. I love that so much, man. I love to go outside. Every time I get up, I, I go look at the stars. Man, I love it. <laughs> That's the only time you can see stars shine is at night. Tell me, you could be one of them stars shining ever so bright in the darkest moment of your life. When things are so hard and so tough, if you allow the process to do what God intends for it to do, man, you're going to come out victorious. And if you hang on to him through and through, you're really going to be victorious and everyone will get to see it. Do you hear me? I love, I love it so much, bro. I love it so much. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, through the darkest moment of your life, through the toughest moment of your life, that's when God step in and show up. Not when stuff going so easy and smooth. You can, don't nothing happen when stuff is being easy. Mm -hmm. That's when stuff get pressure. Pressure and time is how diamonds form, are they not? Mm -hmm. in, the, in the deep of the earth, time and pressure. That's how diamonds made, right? Yeah. I love that right there. Mm -hmm. You got to be under some pressure. I'm telling you right there, under some heat, under some friction. That's how stuff grow. The sun, when it hit, it need heat to make the plant grow. It got to be hot. You got to go through something. All right? It ain't going to be easy, pleasant environment. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you just go through it. Walk through it. I know it hurt, but walk through it. You're going to be glad you did. <laughs> You're going to praise God that you did. Because a lot of people don't get the experiences or go through this. They want to take the easy route, take the, the, the narrow road, the, the broad gate. <laughs> yeah, they walk through the wide gate and with stuff easy. You got to go through something, all right? Cut this little thing off. Thank making that noise. Y'all bear with me. God bless y'all. But you got to go through something, you hear? I know it's unpleasant. You're going to be all right. I have confidence you will be one of them stars shining ever so bright, okay? Uh, you just uh, keep on breathing. Inhale and exhale, all right? You're going to be all right. All glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven. Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit, gotta give credit, honor, and glory to who is due. Amen. Uh, whatever today is. It's Thursday, November 16, 554 a.m. 2023. Mm -hmm. It is early. I love to be up while everyone else is asleep. Mm -hmm. You ain't got you one of these. You should have got you one to read. It's a nice packet called Knowledge from God Almighty. You gotta wait now. Someone gotta send investment or something. The Lord gonna make a way. Because I gave all mine out. And I I ain't rich to be, be, think I might just give out like that right now. As soon as I get, I'm going to give all out. Everything I get, I'm going to give right back. But there, the Knowledge from God Almighty, Volume 1, by some brother named Devontae Farm. It's a nice book, nice name, but don't no book replace the Bible. <laughs> I don't care what book you got. Uh, where, if there's any truth in your books, they're going to point you to the Bible. All right? Everything you need, can need, and will need is something God's Word, and in God's Word alone. I'm telling you. Uh, I love that. If there's any truth to any books, they're going to point you to the Bible. I'm about to read the Holy Quran, which is the Word of God. It points you to the Bible. It lines up with mm -hmm. a few other books I like to read. They point you to the Bible, all right? So if you don't got a Bible, I highly advise you to get you one of them, okay? You're a new reader, get you an NIV version. It's a, the new international version. It's more modern and easy for you to understand, all right? That's my advice to you. All versions of the Bible are good. Or King James, all of them, they're all good. But you want if you're a new reader, you want to get an NIV version because it's more easy for you to read, all right? That's my advice to you. Second thing, nobody perfect. Don't nobody ever put perfection in your mind. There's only one person who could have claimed to be perfect and walk this earth perfectly. His name was Jesus Christ. And he shed his precious blood for you and me to receive by faith each and every single day. <laughs> he the only one who could have claimed to be perfect. Unless your name Jesus Christ, from Nazareth, born of a virgin, mother named Mary. Unless that's you, brother or sister, which I highly doubt, <laughs> you're not perfect. All right, you're going to mess up and make mistakes, okay? It's all right. You know this. It's all right. Uh, one thing I love is God ain't looking for perfection, but devotion. 
He he loves for people who truly devoted from the heart. Your worst day with God is as good as your best day. If you truly devote, if you truly devoted to Him, okay. Listen to me. You just keep on making yourself available. I like what Stephen A. say. The best ability is availability. He talking about sports, but that's what God is looking for. People who truly make themselves available. Many people don't really do this, man. <laughs> Listen to me. That's why there don't be no change at all. <laughs> many, so many, people, many people go to church, millions on Sunday, <laughs> Saturday on synagogue. But they bring their body, but leave their hearts at home. Jesus said these people worship me with their mouths. <laughs> their hearts are far from me. Do you hear me? Listen, man, I'm just telling you, man. But for any one of y'all, I don't care what you got going on, man. If you drunk, if you sober, if you straight, gay, crooked, you got you strung out on drugs, whatever you, you strung out with sexual problems, uh, whatever you got going on. Listen to me. If you make yourself available each and every single day from the heart, God knows the situation in your condition. He knows who truly want to make themselves available. If you make yourself available from the heart the best you can, God going to take you. Use you and shape you like a wise man or a wise woman. He gonna he gonna fix you from the inside up. He gonna clean you up from the inside out. You ain't gotta dress out the outside. He gonna clean you from the inside out. The outside is starting to show what's in the inside. All right, listen. He, and he gonna you gonna mess up from time to time because we're not perfect. You know, you see what I'm saying? He knows he knows you got struggles and this and that and and. Word. If you know who God is, you're going to want to strive to be the best you can be because that, that's excellent. You know what I mean? That's excellent. When you At that point, when you want to do the best you can, that's excellent. But even with all that being said, you're still going to mess up and fall short of the glory of God. Superman had all was the, the perf, almost step. He still had kryptonite <laughs> that brought him down. You see what I'm saying? You can put all the characters together you want. You still going to have a weakness. <laughs> all right, listen, you're not perfect. There's only one person who could have did it and did it and did it and did it. His name was Jesus, and he shed his blood for you and me, man. You see? So it's all right. You just keep on doing the best you can. All right? Third thing. Ain't no third thing. <laughs> if you're watching on my Facebook channel, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And be sure to send out videos to people. You could Not everyone be on Facebook, but you could take the YouTube video and send it through a link on their phone. That would be smart. You'd be surprised what it might affect and touch, man. You'd be surprised. <laughs> all right, just type in my name, Devontae Farm, and some dude holding the Bible should pop up. <laughs> all right? And if you're watching on my YouTube channel, uh, I got videos on Facebook that you'd be interested to go look at. Not all of them. I, I got some videos that's missing. That's on my Facebook junk that ain't on here. So get on my U my Facebook junk and, and get those videos. Type in my name, Devontae Farmer. It'll be smart for you to record the videos <laughs> on your phone or something. That'd be highly smart. You ain't got to pay for it. It's all free. I give it to you free. I don't charge y'all. Y'all go to church on Sunday, give money to offer. Sunday school offering, the, the Bible school offering, the the end offering, the coming offering, the, the plate offering, all, whatever type of offering they give you. <laughs> Many offerings. I don't ask y'all for $8. <laughs> I'm giving you stuff you got you to wait to a whole week to get, <laughs> and you're going to get something that's water down that you can't even put into effect and use. <laughs> so it will be smart for you to record the videos and take them and wear it and use them. Well, I'm telling you, that'd be very smart. If anyone truly like to watch it, that's what I would do. If I was watching, if I was watching somebody like me, I got like 10 phones with probably like 800 recordings. <laughs> uh, people from all, all the past who I used to listen to, God bless all the people off that radio station that I used to listen to. I still listen to it from time to time. I ain't been on it in a minute. Uh, but anyway, I got many recordings of people who, or who said many motivational speeches, man. I love it. Every time I hear someone saying something good, I record it. And I keep it because I play it back and listen to it on my free time. <laughs> That'll be smart for you to do. Okay? So that's what I would, would advise you to do. You ain't got to pay for it. Okay? It's, it's very smart. Anyway. Guess I just go in. I like that. Uh, before I go into the Holy Quran, I like uh, I like this. John, John and Revelator got to see Jesus Christ one day. <laughs> John, uh, Revelation chapter 1, verse 12, John said, I turned around to see the voice that was speaking to me. And when I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And among the lampstands was um, was, a, was someone like a son of man dressed in a robe. <laughs> uh, dressed in a robe, reaching down to his feet with a golden slash around his chest. <laughs> uh, the hair on his head was white like wool, <laughs> as white as snow. And his eyes were like blazing fire. Jesus got eyes like fire, baby. You hear me? You, listen to me. When Jesus look at you, he'll cut you through your heart. He see, he see through you, through the BS. You can't, you can't, when the sun outside shining so bright, you got to pull one of these moves. 
When Jesus got eyes like fire, he cut right through your heart, baby. You hear me? See through it all. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Listen, John said uh, his, uh, his feet was like bronze going in the furnace, and his voice like the sound of rushing waters. <laughs> in his right hand, he held seven, he held seven stars. And coming out of his coming out of his mouth was a sharp, double-edged sword. His face was like the sun shining in all its brilliance. <laughs> When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. John said, when I saw him, he, he, it took the life out of him. <laughs> you want to see God? When you see him, it's going to take the life out of you. Yeah. <laughs> then he placed his right hand on him and touched him he, and said, don't be afraid. I'm the first and the last. The alpha. <laughs> I'm the living. Uh, the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead. And now look, <laughs> I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. All right. <laughs> I just had to go there before I go here. Let's get into the Holy Quran. I'm in chapter four, I believe. Okay. Holy Quran, chapter four, verse 36, where I left off. I'm in chapter one, uh, Al Nisa, with the title saying, The Holy Quran, chapter four, uh, verse 36, uh, it said, Worship God and ascribe no partners to him. I love that. And be good to the parents and the relatives and the orphans uh, uh, and the poor and the neighbor next door. I love the fact Jesus said, uh, I love the fact that Jesus, God sent Jesus for us to listen to him. You hear me? And God operate through his Holy Spirit. But God, our father, he has no partners, no equals, no rivals, no successors. Jesus himself said, he told us to worship our father, pray to our father. <laughs> we have a connection with God, our father, th through Jesus Christ. You hear me? But God, our father, he has no equals, no rival, no successor, no partners. It's him and him alone. And he operate the way he chooses to operate. All right? <laughs> worship God and ascribe no partners to him. And be good to the parents, the relatives, and the orphans and the poor, the neighbor next, the neighbor next door and the distant neighbor, and the close associate, and the traveler, and your servants. God does not love the arrogant show-off. All right. No. Got to be nice to these people. They irritate me sometimes, but I know this truth. They hit me right there. Those who are stingy and exhort people to stinginess. <clears throat> Those who are stingy and exhort people to stinginess and conceal what God has given them from his bounty, we have prepared for the disbelievers a disgraceful punishment. And those who spend their money to, to be seen by people, where they just get their money, get a car so they can ride around, go to store to store, <laughs> just to be seen. Don't nobody give a damn about seeing, being seen. You're being seen. There's people who do that. Just get the money for to get a house, decorate the house, <laughs> or to decorate their yard or something. <laughs> Y'all spend more money on cars and houses and yards than you do on people. They actually need to live. <laughs> But anyway, that's another story for another day. And those who spend their money to be seen by people and believe neither in God nor the last day. Whoever has Satan as a companion, what an evil companion. <laughs> All right. what, what would they have lost had they believed in God in the last day and gave out what God has provided for them? God knows them very well. God know who you is. Y'all working mischief and doing dumb stuff. God knows exactly who doing what. <laughs> Can't fool the Lord. This, uh, then how will it be? Oh, I missed it. I missed it. God does not commit. God does not commit an Adam's weight of injustice. If there's, if, and if there is a good deed, he doubles it. All right. And gives from his presence a subline compensation. I like that. Then how will it be when we bring a witness from every community? And we bring you as a witness against these. On, on that day, those who disbelieve and disobey the messenger will wish that the earth were leveled over them. They will conceal nothing from God. Amen. Oh, you who believe, do not approach the prayer while you are drunk <clears throat> so that you know what, what you say. I like that. Oh, you who believe, do not approach the prayer, the prayer while you are drunk so that you know what you say, nor after sexual orgasm. 
unless you are traveling, until you have bathed. If you are sick or traveling, or one of you comes from the toilet, or you have had intercourse with women and cannot find water, find clean sand and wipe your faces and your hands with it. God is pardoning and forgiving. Amen. Have you not considered those who were given a share of the book? They by error and wish and wish you will lose the way. Mm. <laughs> Listen to this. Have you not considered those? Have you not considered those who were given a share of the book? They by error mm. and wish you will lose the way. It's some people who buy some buy the, buy, buy air. <laughs> Where? And they want you to lose what you got going on. <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's real right there. <laughs> Sad to say, but it's 100% true. There's some people who don't. If you get close to the Lord, or get close to God, there's some people who don't like that. <laughs> They'll go buy some BS and try to try to turn you away from it. Try to turn you away from God. <laughs> if you told you, they come around quoting some dumb stuff to you, get you to do that. They find you listening to somebody who point you on the right track. They're going to ask you, why are you listening to them? Or why do why, you think they right? You think you think oh, they a Muslim or they a Christian? Listen, if you know who God is, if you don't know you Jew, Christian, or Muslim, I don't care, I don't get, I don't care who it is who giving you the word. If it's truth in it, you hear me? They're not telling you to be this. They're not telling you to be Jew, Christian, or Muslim. They just give you the word. <laughs> and but you got some hypocrites coming around. Are they really like, are they are they really for God? Do they really believe in this? Do they what do you think? You asking. Some dumbass questions. <laughs> They're trying to turn you away from the truth. And someone pulling you to the truth. <laughs> they don't like that. You see what I'm saying? That's 100% true. <laughs> Damn hypocrite. They wish to buy air and wish you would lose the weight. <laughs> but God knows your enemies best. But God knows your enemies best. God is sufficient as protector, and God is sufficient as a supporter, as a supporter. Amen. <clears throat> Among the Jews are some who take the word out of context and say, we hear and we disobey <laughs> and hear without listening and, and observe us twisting, twisting with their tongues and slandering the religion. <laughs> Here they say, we hear and we obey and, and listen and give us your attention. It will be better for them and more upright, but God has cursed them for their disbelief. They do not believe except a little. <laughs> you see, if some Jewish people, you got, I told you, I love the way the Holy Quran read. It ain't talking about all Jewish people. It's, it's, it's said among the Jews, <laughs> not all of them, among the Jews. All right, some of them. <laughs> you got real Jewish people who believe in God and serve Jehovah. They know who God our Father is, and you got fake Jewish people who don't know a damn thing about God. They some hypocrites. They wish to turn you away from the way they want you to be uh, legalistic. <laughs> you got real Christian people who really follow Jesus Christ and they get their life up. They follow Jesus to the end of the earth, and you got some fake ass Christian people who don't know a damn thing about Jesus. They just use his name, using God's name in vain. Jesus himself will say, "I never knew a whole. I never knew these evil doors." <laughs> Many people gonna say, "They Jesus, did we not do this and do that in your name? Cast out demons, perform miracles, and, and do this." Jesus, goes, I never knew y'all. Away from me, you evil doors. You got some fake. You got some fake going on. You got real Jewish people. You got some fake Jewish. You got some fake people who think they Jewish. They not. You got some real Christian people who really serve Jesus Christ, who really serve God through Jesus Christ and follow Jesus and listen to what God our Father told told us to do. <laughs> and you got some fake people who think they know Jesus. They don't know. They don't know a damn thing about it. Jesus said the same thing. <laughs> John chapter eight. <laughs> he was talking to some Jewish people. <laughs> Jesus himself was talking to some Jewish people in John chapter 8. He he's talking to some fake Jews, not the real ones, the fake ones. Because there's many fake ones. John chapter 8, verse 31, to the Jews who had believed in him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. But it was, it was some fake it was some fake Jewish people here. And some answered, they Abraham is a sinister or whatever. And Jesus went on to tell them, Jesus went, on, Jesus went on to tell him in verse 41, you are doing the works of your father. You are not legitimate children, they protested. They said the only father they have is God. Jesus said, if God were your father, verse 42, to the fake Jewish people, if God were your father, you would love me. For I come from, for I come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil. Yeah. And you want to carry out your father's your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, 
for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks with his native tongue, <laughs> for he is for he is a liar <laughs> and the father of lies. Yet because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. <laughs> How can any of you prove me guilty of sin? Huh? If I am telling if I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? <laughs> whoever belo whoever belongs to God hear hears what God says. <laughs> the reason you do not hear is that you is that you do not belong to God. <laughs> See, Jesus was getting on these people. <laughs> Word. You got some real Jewish people who believe in God. You got some fake Jewish people who don't know a damn thing about God. You got some real Christian people who truly serve God through Jesus Christ and honor, and honor our Lord and follow our Lord and listen to our Lord like God told us to. And you got some fake ass Christian people who don't do it. They don't know a damn thing about Jesus. They and they, they they worship it. They worship in vain. Jesus said these people. My, Jesus said I'm always on their lips, but but their hearts are far from me. That's what Jesus said about the people. You see, you got some real Muslim people who submit to God, our Father, and they and tell him, they, they, listen to them. You got some real Muslim people who submit to God, our Father. They believe in God. They trust in God. They real. They real. They real believers. And you got some fake Muslim people who don't know a damn thing about submission to God. They live in their life. They, they don't know a damn thing about God. You see what I'm saying? You got some real and you got some fake. I love and I love. That's the whole thing about this thing about right here. All right? So when he's talking about the Jews, right, he's talking about the fake ones. Okay? <laughs> Not all of them, but the fake ones. All right, among the Jews, word. But God has cursed them for their disbelief. They do not believe except a little. <laughs> oh, you who are given the book, believe in what we sent down, confirming what you have before we, oh, uh, before we oblit obliterate, oh, obliterate faces and turn them inside out <laughs> or curse them as we or curse them as we curse the sabbath breakers the sabbath breakers the command of god is always done <clears throat> amen god does not forgive association with him but he forgives anything less than that to whomever he wills amen whoever associates anything with god has divi has has devised a monstrous sin <laughs> Have you not considered those who claim purity for themselves? Rather, God purifies whom he wills, and they will not be wronged a whit. And they will not be wronged a whit. See how they devi you see how they devise lies against God? <laughs> that alone, that alone is an outright sin. Have you not considered those who were given a share of the book? They believe in superstition and evil powers. And say of those who disbelieve, <laughs> these are better guided on the way than the believers. <laughs> right. Have you not considered those who are given a share of the book? They believe in superstition and evil powers. And say of those who disbelieve, these are better guided on the way than the believers. Those are they whom God has cursed. Whomever God curses, you will find no savior for him. <clears throat> or do they own a share of the kingdom that then they will not give people a speck or do they own a share of the kingdom then they will not give people a speck or do they envy the people for what god has given them of his grace we have given the family of abraham the book and wisdom and we have given them a great kingdom amen among the among them are those who believe in it and among them are those who held back from it. Hell is a sufficient inf inf inferno, you see. Those who reject our revelations, we will, we will scorch them in a fire. Every time that their skins are cooked, we will replace them with other skins. So they will experience the suffering. God is the most powerful, most wise. Hmm. That's tough right there. They say when they in hell, if your if, word <laughs> the skin, that's tough. I ain't, I ain't know word. I ain't know how that worked right there. But <laughs> they say right there, but when if you in hell, burn up. But if, after you get burnt up, one they gonna give you a, they gonna give you a brand new skin to get burnt up in again. <laughs> after that get burnt up, you are gonna get another skin to get burnt. Whatever your spirit is when you in hell. <laughs> after this, that's that's tough right there. I ain't never think about that. But for the people in hell. <laughs> They they got some type of skin. The spirit, the, they got some type of skin over their spirit. 
that they can feel just being burnt up. <laughs> and once that skin burnt up, they're going to give them another, God can give them another skin to be burnt up in. That's tough right there. I don't think about the punishment in hell, how they go on, that's eternal. <laughs> well, you don't want to be there, though. I'll tell you that. That's tough. It's, it's, it's a, just tell you a type of, just tell you some type of will be going on in hell. <laughs> when they, in, when they, word, because they in hell being burnt up, but, but they don't die. <laughs> word, word, <laughs> you, man, <laughs> It just, it just keep being repeated and 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 repeated. And repeated. <laughs> My goodness, you think waking up on earth and doing what you're doing every day, <laughs> can't sleep, then that's what's bringing you on. <laughs> you don't want to go here. <laughs> As for those who believe and do good deeds, we will admit them into gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. They will have, they will have purified spouses therein. And we will admit them into a shady shade. I like that. God instructs you to give back things entrusted to you to their owners. And when you judge between people, judge with justice. Amen. God's instructions to you are excellent. God is all hearing, all seeing. O oh, you who believe, obey God and obey the messenger and those in authority among you. And if you dispute over anything, Refer it to God and the messenger. If you believe in God and the last day, that is best and a most excellent determination. Have you not have you not observed those who claim that they believe in what was revealed to you and in what was revealed before you? Yet they seek sent yet they seek satanic sources for legal legal legislation. In spite of of being commanded to reject them, mm -hmm. Satan means to, to mis Satan means to mislead them far away. Mm -hmm. And some people God get a word to and speak to, mm -hmm. and these people still I know for a fact people be doing this. Mm -hmm. I told them must be, must well I'm telling you man must be weird. Mm -hmm. It's people who I know for a fact God reveal reveal stuff to them. Yeah, they look they be on the internet looking for some satanic type of stuff. Mm -hmm. Word trying to put spells and stuff on some on someone somebody word. Boy, that is, that's how they, I'm telling you, must be weird. That is crazy as hell. You don't know what you're playing with. God speaking to you, telling you to do something, you're going to turn it out of the way and, and try to get some power from the world, from Satan. And many people, Jesus, man, he tried Jesus, said, all this I give to you. Jesus was smart. He said, away from me, Satan. But many of these losers and weak, pathetic people, they're going to take what Satan got to give them, to get a house or a car, some clothes, something dumb. Man, you was... You should be ashamed of your damn self. <laughs> because I know for a fact, many people follow this dude. <laughs> Just to get something out of the world, temporarily. <laughs> to settle for less. And you see what happened to you. You see what's happening to you. You can't blame me, then. <laughs> I'm just saying the truth. Don't get mad. Don't get mad when someone tell you the truth what's going on. <laughs> the, they us, the whole world will know soon. <laughs> Listen to me. For each and every single last one of y'all <laughs> who took... I'll be my tongue. <laughs> that hurt. For each and every single last one of y'all who choose to follow Satan and do the works of the devil, the whole world, the entire world, every single person who has ever lived, you think you're trying to cover it up behind it? They all going to know it. One day, when we get to the judgment seat and we all in this one big place, God going to bring everybody up. Let them see everything you've been doing, specifically. I would advise you to get right now and repent and receive mercy from God. If you messed up, made a mistake, okay, repent about it. God will fix it. But keep on doing what you're doing, trying to hide stuff and cover that. Everyone going to know it one day. You think that you think, you think you're just going to live your life and die, and nobody never know. God going to reveal everything to everybody. Every single soul you hurt, did harm to, caused misfortune to, God going to let everyone know it one day. You think you're just trying to cover it up? You can't do no wrong like Andy Griffin? Keep on lying to yourself. Everyone gonna know it one day. Hell, I could be dead a hundred years from now. They all gonna know it one day though. You think you feel bad and shame now? Wait till the whole wait till the whole damn universe to see what you was doing. And then you go to hell. You're trying to cover up and hide from a few people. The whole damn world gonna know what you're doing. The whole universe is going to know what you're doing. <laughs> the angels above won't even get to see what you did. <laughs> that don't make you want to get right or tighten up. Something wrong with you. <laughs> you still going to keep on trying to cover stuff up and trying to talk your way out of it. 
You can talk to your dad to your blue in the face. The world's still gonna know what the hell you did. <laughs> the whole universe is gonna know. God gonna bring it. It's a judgment seat. He's gonna have it's a great assembly. <laughs> a real big assembly where everyone is gonna be attended to. <laughs> the righteous and the wicked. <laughs> Word. Word. And then you're gonna see. You see what I'm saying? Word. <laughs> There's not one thing everyone will get to see what everyone did. You got plenty of time. <laughs> Eternity is forever. <laughs> God is able to do it. He's gonna do it. <laughs> everyone start from Adam. <laughs> Word, the Lord gonna show everyone everything every, everybody did. Word. You ain't rather you know that or not. Word. It's gonna be a real big meeting, a real great big meeting one day where everyone gonna be attended to. Word. Everyone. Everyone who has ever been born and lived and died will be at this meeting. One by one. People gonna get judged by the by the by the by the king, by the judge himself. You hear me? The true judge. The only real judge. Yeah. Everyone gonna get to see. We all gonna be in the place. Y'all gonna get to see what I got going on, this and that. What I went through, did, had to go through. Well, I'm telling you, there's people who I never, who I never, thousands of years ago. You're gonna see people from thousands of years ago who you, you don't even know nothing about. Who are these people? You're gonna see them too. It's gonna be a real greatest from starting from Adam. I told you, everyone who has ever been born. But anyway, let me keep reading. And when it is said to them, <clears throat> and when it is said to them, come to what God has revealed and to the messengers. You see the hypocrites shining you completely, man. You see the hypocrites shining you completely, man. People don't like me. I got people I know for a fact don't like me. Damn hypocrite. They don't like what I'm saying because I'm saying. Who you think I'm going to be quiet and not say nothing? Not speak my mind? You just crazy as hell. I'm not like you. I stand up for truth. I don't cover it up. Man, it'd be so much BS that went on, go on, and people are taking a cover just to try to paint over it. That's what people do. Like they, they listen to me. This is what the hypocrites and the BS people do. They see a harm or something wrong going on. They just take it and cover it. Don't say nothing. Shh, just be quiet. Just just cover it up. Instead of exposing and 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 standing on the truth and doing what you're supposed to do. Fighting for your people. You're just gonna be, just be quiet. Don't say nothing. Just, just cover it up, paint it up. Don't don't expose, don't say nothing. <laughs> wait till Jesus talk to you. Wait till God speak to you. <laughs> you tried to cover up a whole lot of stuff, didn't you? <laughs> and thinking, and thinking, ain't nobody gonna know. You was crazy as hell. <laughs> you doing a whole lot of harm to yourself doing that. <laughs> Where it's like someone who got a kid, and you don't see the kid. There's a whole lot of people who got a, a child, they grown kids, but they don't correct them. <laughs> just, don't say that. Just let them keep doing what they're doing. You are gonna pay for that because you didn't correct them. <laughs> you could have corrected them and stayed them and did something, but he just shows that don't say nothing. Just let, let them keep on doing what they're doing, and then they end up dead somewhere. <laughs> This and that harm, because you ain't saying that. You just want to cover it up. <laughs> that blood will be on your hands, and it is on your hands. Um, much more than that. <laughs> a lot of stuff that's going on that, that happens, <laughs> and they just cover up and don't say nothing about it. <laughs> they don't repent about it, don't, or nothing. <laughs> and wonder why they can't do this and don't get no sleep and don't feel right. <laughs> <All right. laughs> just keep on being that way. You bring harm to your damn self. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, how about when a disaster strikes them because what their hands have put forward you see and then they come to you swearing by God <laughs> look yeah they do harm and then they want to come to you and word say something listen how about when a disaster strikes them because of what their hands put forward <laughs> if you don't do nothing crazy I ain't got nothing to talk about if you don't, if you're not doing anything stupid, you don't, you don't get nobody nothing to talk about. <laughs> but then when you do stuff and people call you out on it, don't get mad because somebody call you out on it. Yeah, listen. And then you want to talk about the Lord, talk about God. This and this and man, you was crazy as hell. You better repent. <laughs> hey, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Listen. <laughs> How about when a disaster strikes them because of what their hands have done, put forward, <laughs> and then they come to you swearing by God. <laughs> We only we only intended goodwill and reconciliation. Use a damn lie. <laughs> the they are those whom God knows what is in their hearts. <laughs> so ignore them. I love that right there. And admonish them <laughs> and say to them concerning themselves penetrating words. Word. <laughs> we did not send any messenger. Except it. We did not send any messenger. Except to be obeyed by God's leave, had they had they when they wrong themselves come to you and pray for God's forgiveness 
and the messenger had prayed for their oh and the messenger had prayed for their forgiveness they would have found God relenting and merciful. <laughs> I pray for people who be doing wild stuff all the time. They don't know it. I still pray for people. Well, I mean, once God be blessed to people, they do wrong stuff, though. <laughs> and boy, I wonder about stuff. Listen to me, man. There's only so much you can pray for people about. <laughs> they choose to do their own. It's a, it's a quote in the Bible that say, it's, some sin, it's a sin that leads to death. First John chapter five, first John chapter five, verse 16, it say, brother John wrote, if you see a, any brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray. You should pray and God will give them life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that you should pray about that. You see, um, all wrong doing a sin. And there is, and there is sin that leads to death. And some things, it's some, listen. <laughs> if you see, if you see people doing wrong, you pray for them. But some people be doing something that's specifically <laughs> that even if you pray for it, <laughs> it, 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 it ain't no prayer that's gonna fix it because they they they, they doing something specifically that's gonna lead them to their death. <laughs> read the verses. I just read out of First John chapter five. <laughs> John himself saying this. <laughs> this is God. This is the word of God. <laughs> he not lying. I pray for people, but if, if some people be doing specifically, that's going to lead them straight to death. You can't pray for that. They're they doing something directly, they doing something directly uh, against God that's going to lead them to their downfall. All sin is all wrong doing the sin. If some things people do, you can pray about, you pray for people about they, they, I ain't mad upset you can pray for people about certain things, man, but you can pray about everything. But if some things people be doing, they, 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 they intentionally hell bent. They probably follow a Satan or something. It's something I don't know what this sin is, but it's something that leads them straight to straight to death. You see what I'm saying? Quicker than the rest of the sin. They doing something. They doing something that's detrimental. That even if you pray for it, God ain't listening to, to that because they doing something. That's, they doing something that's in direct opposition that they should not be doing. That's gonna lead them down quick, fast. Read the verse that I just now read, man. First John chapter five, verse sixteen. John said. If you see a brother or a sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray, and God will give them life. I, I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. There is a sin that leads to death. I am not saying that you should pray about that. <laughs> John just now said, I'm not telling you to pray about they, they doing something that even if you're praying about, your prayer, God will listen to it. <laughs> Cause they doing something that's in direct opposition, <laughs> something detrimental that's gonna cause that, that they harm in their life and they don't know it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> they doing something great. They doing a great sin <laughs> out of word that they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is a sin that leads to death. <laughs> I'm not saying that you should pray about that. All wrong doing a sin, <laughs> and there is sin that that and there is sin. <clears throat> Listen, all wrong doing a sin. And there is sin that does not lead to death. <laughs> Listen, all wrong doing sin is some. Is, we all sin. It's some things you're doing that's not going to lead to your death immediately. <laughs> Do you hear me? But, but there is a sin. There is a sin <laughs> that leads to death. This is something that's going to lead you to death quick. Okay. <laughs> listen, listen to what John just now said, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that don't hit you and make sense to you, damn. Something wrong. He said some quite powerful right there. <laughs> I pray for people all the time, <laughs> but if some things they could they could be doing something that's that in direct opposition. That my prayer, even my prayer, Jesus ain't gonna ain't gonna the Lord ain't gonna <laughs> word. They doing something they they harming their damn self. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> I pray for everybody. I want to see God bless the people and hope God smack them upside the head and wake them up. <laughs> but it's something that they are doing that even my prayers cannot wake them up. <laughs> or word, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> that's what God said Himself. Johnson now said it. <laughs> Where is it? But no, verse 65. But no, 
by your Lord, they will not believe until they call you to arbitrate in their disputes and then find within themselves no resentment regarding your decisions and submit themselves completely. You see? I'm going to stop there for today, y'all. At verse 65. All right, up. You see? I had a pencil right here. Mm. Hey, God bless you. Verse 65. I like that, though. Hey, God bless you, man. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you. It's the Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of here. <laughs> you dead? Can't wait, man. As y'all got caught with him. Yeah, I can't wait to get up out of here. <laughs> yeah. Till then, y'all keep on taking your time. I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me, too. And I will see y'all again. Amen. <laughs> God bless y'all.